Shalom, welcome back to the channel. What I'm doing today is a little winter, putting in some bulbs, getting things ready, cold weather is coming. I have to take care of some things here. So I'm going to plant these bulbs right now in an area of the garden where I took a big rock out. This is a flower bed and uh, I've already got the soil for it. So I'm just going to put the bulbs in the ground and cover them with the soil. They're tulip bulbs and they have to be, I think, about four inches deep. If they're just two inches deep, they, they can get too cold when the freezing weather comes and then they don't come up in the spring. And so this is uh, soil that we composted from uh, topsoil we got from the, the city, but also there was some mulch in there and, and it's all been broken down. The chickens have gone through it and stuff like that. So there, I've already pulled weeds out of here. I don't, I'm not going to get every single one, but it's good enough. Good enough is the, as it's perfect is the enemy of good enough. And so that bed to me is done until springtime. But I have other projects I'm going to work on, including going to the, I hope you can see me, solar dehydrator and getting things out and putting things in. Homey scissors for, for cutting uh, stems of the kale that I am going to be doing today. And also a sheet I have to hang out. It's going to be a busy day. This is the Swiss chard plant that I've talked about before. It's two years old. It put out a lot of seeds. And I put a lot of them on the ground, in the ground. And then when the droughts ended and it started raining, it leafed up again. So I'm going to pull a bunch of these leaves today too. And just put them in the refrigerator in case it doesn't make it through this frost. But it'll probably be all right. We're at the solar dehydrator. Just showing you a couple of trays. The kale has been in there a little bit too long. I'm going to take that out. And here's some geese flying south. All right. So it always ends up being windy it wasn't this windy when i came out here on a day that i'm working this and so i have to be very careful these things weigh so little they're so dry that i have to be careful the wind doesn't interfere with the job and blow it away and i also can't grab it too hard or it crushes it it crushed and what i will do after i've got these kale out of this tray is go get more by the frost or not and so i want to gather the kale that i can gather while the weather is still all right and then i've got a couple of basil a um, couple of basil plants too that i stuck up in here and a mint plant there's the mint it's just a whole stalk i think it's mint i don't think that's uh, basil yeah, and crushing it, you can smell the mint. It's very fresh. Even though it's dried, it's still got that minty zing to it. And for you experienced gardeners, you know what this is. We've got potatoes coming up, even though I pulled the potatoes earlier. So I obviously didn't get them all pulled. There must have been little ones that I missed, or maybe I didn't dig deep enough. And they've all come up. But the challenge would be getting these guys through a frost, and I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to manage that. And this really is a little bit over dried. Some are very busy and then health issues. So the ideal would be getting it while it still had some green to it. But uh, I just did not get to it this, this summer. Hives. I'm gonna have to kind of break it down to get it to go in the bag. There we go. That looked a little rough, didn't it? But I've got it in there. 
and I can chop that up later. The chive plants have gone to seed. There's still some greens there, but I put this in earlier. And then there are some basil. This is a sweet basil, and it it comes back every year. I didn't plant that, or I did plant it. Someone gave me the plants, but they throw the seeds down, and then they come back every year. All right, I'm, it's going to take me a minute to do that. Let me just pause you all. So I got it all in. The basil, the kale, the chives. No, not kale. Oh, mint, chives, and that's the kale. So we're going to move on to the next thing in the garden. This is a squash plant I planted after the drought and the freeze because I knew we'd have warm temperatures again once the freeze was over. And it's a little, I don't remember the actual official name, but I call it a pity pat squash. It's a little uh, flat squash. And even if I only get one or two um, squash off it before the next freeze, I'm going to count that as a bonus and try to put that into next year's planning for what I'm going to plant and when. This is the piece de resistance of my garden this year. This kale has been here since this spring. It went through the drought and it almost killed it. It's been chewed on by critters. It had pests in it. It had deer munching on it. And at the end of the drought, all that was left was just the stalk of most of the plants. But the plants themselves were not dead. And I continue to water them a little bit uh, during the drought because water was a, at a premium for us as well. So I couldn't just come out and dump gallons and gallons on them. But I would come out and throw some water. And as you saw in one of my other videos, I would let my laundry hang over top and let the water from the laundry drip on the plants too. Because that water actually has some nitrogen in it from the soap. Um, and so the plants stayed alive. And now I'm gathering them to have to eat fresh but also I'm going to put a bunch of this into that solar dehydrator because I don't want to lose this and I'm praying that these plants will make it through this freeze but if they don't I've at least gotten what I can out of the plants in the garden so I'm going to finish doing that and oh you can see right here we have garlics that have been here for years that are the little sprouts are starting to come up I gathered a whole bunch of them when it was droughty too because it was very dry the garlic this is the kale that i was able to pull out of the garden from all those little plants i know the leaves are small some of you people are growing kale with leaves that are you know a foot wide but i'm just happy i was able to keep these guys alive all spring summer and fall now almost into winter um, and looking forward to hopefully it survives the next frost trying to avoid this door that the wind is blowing that trying to interrupt my video um i'm hoping they survive this next frost and i can continue to get kale off of them so what i'm going to do is start putting some of the leaves up on the shelves for the dehydrator um, and dehydrate some of them because i love dehydrated kale in the winter time with meat and salad um, it helps keep your gut regulated it helps you not get constipated if you you know certain people with nuts or meat or other food that get constipated the kale added to any dish will help keep your body regulated and it's tasty and it's friendly and uh it's very natural works just great so i'm going to dehydrate some of that and then the rest will go into the refrigerator for fresh eating so I hung up the sheets, they will drip dry um, and the wind will dry them and it makes them smell fresher and I'm not using any power to achieve my laundry getting dried, which I'm happy about also.
And tomorrow it's going to rain, so they'll get a rinse. And then after that, um, when they're dry again, after that, I will take them down, fold them up, and take them in the house. And last but not least, for today, before I go have lunch, I re did re stirred the dirt and everything of this bed here and planted these two chrysanthemums which really they're done um blooming and you want to cut them back before the really cold weather comes and so i've cut off all the dead uh twigs and leaves and stuff from the frost that came before and i re constituted the soil that I planted them in. There was a lot of clay there and I put some nutritious soil in there with some fertilizer and uh, I redid the, restacked the stones because sometimes when the goats are here they knock them down or if the chickens are digging around them uh, they will displace them. So that bed is done and now I feel ready for the cold weather coming later this week. Thanks for coming along with me y'all. Bless you. Shalom.